loop here. London Fringe Outbreak coming to downtown London June 5th to the 16th. I've got Steve here with Miracle Max, Illusions of Grandeur. Tell me a little bit about the show. Well, as the title suggests, Miracle Max is a magic show. And how often in the city of London, as an adult, do you get to see a magic show? And how's the show different? Well, I've been performing for over 20 years, and I started off doing street comedy magic and juggling shows. And when you gather a crowd of 100 strangers and passers-by on the street, every moment of your show has to be funny or astonishing or unpredictable. Otherwise, people just walk away. And so I've been refining that performance style over the years. And I'm really excited to bring it to the Fringe Festival because I can take that core comedy magic show and incorporate more theatrical elements. I can explore character and some grander themes and take some artistic risks. And I think the end result is going to be a performance experience for the audience that's very different than they'd see from any of the other performing arts. Well, it seems like everyone needs a little magic in their life. Oh, absolutely. As I always say, uh, a world without magic is like a world without puppies. You know, sure, life would go on, but think about it. Puppies. We've all seen the classic magic trick, pick a card, any card. Mm -hmm. I do the absolute fairest, pick a card, any card. It's absolutely fair. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right up front, I know exactly which one of these cards you're going to pick. Of those 52 cards, you know exactly which one? Absolutely. You know how? Yeah. I'm going to cheat. <laughs> oh. Essentially, the trick is this. There's one card in here that I'm going to do everything I can to trick you into picking. Okay. All you have to do is ignore everything I say or do and pick one of the 51 other cards. Okay. Yeah. So the odds are in your favor. But I'll do it absolutely fair. Okay? So fair, I'll do it face up. Because right. everyone always thinks the cards are all the same. That's not the case. And if I do it face up, that way if you go for the 5, you know I'm not going to switch it for the 9 or something tricky like that. All right. That wouldn't be fair. Okay? All right, so just go ahead. I want you to just touch the card, any one you want. Just go ahead. See, he has a choice of what, like five cards? Obviously, that's not fair because the card could have, I'm trying to take a pick, could be up there. Okay. Don't be influenced by me. Okay. I'm just going to try and mess with your head. Okay. So just go ahead and pick whichever card. See, it'll go for the ace. All right, that's the obvious one. Don't go for anything really obvious. Okay. Tell Perfect. you what, that will make it even interesting, All right. more interesting. Give you seven dollars if you manage to pick any one of the fifty-one cards that I don't want you to pick. Okay. All right. So just go ahead, touch whichever one you want. You want the jack? Yes. You're sure enough? Yeah. You can change your mind. No, nope, I'm good. Because a lot of people will think that I somehow tricked you into picking the jack. No. Nope. I want you to remember, 20, 30 years from now, when you think back about today, you had a chance to change your mind. Do you want to change your mind? No, nope, I'm good. Absolutely. All right. Hang on to that for a second. This trick is so fair, so honest. Well, the trick, the cards aren't marked in any way at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, the good thing is, is I knew you'd pick the uh, the jack. See, I knew you'd pick the jack of clubs. Whoa. Mind blown. Here with Rochelle Herlihy, and she's the choreographer of Maintenant, which means now. So tell us a little bit about the show. Sure. Um, it's a youth dance uh, show put on by Barefoot Creative Dance Company, and uh, the dancers comprised of a group of seven plus guests, um, ages 12 to 18. And the whole premise is sort of we explore issues of bullying from the youth perspective, um, all through contemporary dance and contemporary movement. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, so, so is there sort of like a theme to the show? Or? Yeah, the theme is bullying, but the, looking at it from a positive aspect about how we can make a change now, hence the name Mentinol, and um, how youth can make positive changes every day. It doesn't take a whole bunch of people to do that. Each person can make that change individually. Um, I think dance, especially in London, is sort of an up-and-coming thing. I know there have been a few shows in the past, dance shows at the Fringe, and there's three this year, which is awesome. It's so nice to see dance making it sort of groundbreaking and sort of opening up the avenues for more people to create dance. Um, so I think it's an awesome counterpart to theatre and I feel like it's a great uh, opportunity at the Fringe Festival to showcase dance. Um, it's youth dancers and um, if you're looking for something a little bit different, a change from the typical theatrical production or musical, then come check out our show. Yeah. 